Historic cemetery in Milford are having a tough time now cleaning up the mess left behind by some vandals. Several gravestones were defaced, some of them dating all the way back to the Revolutionary War. News 8's Andy Rourke is on the scene. The Milford Cemetery here is a real treasure to this city. As you can see, they have graves dating back all the way to the 17th century, but apparently that wasn't enough to keep people from vandalizing them. 666 painted on a tree. At least this has faded a bit with time, but the 666 on this old tombstone hasn't faded a bit. And Fred was here is still very visible. This has probably happened once in my entire time. I've been here 26 years. Raymond Scholl spotted the graffiti when it happened about a year ago. Police have investigated but have yet to make any arrests. What's worse, the cemetery hasn't been able to restore the aging markers to a rightful and respectful condition. Do some commercial uh, graffiti remover. Uh, it has not worked all that well. And so right, we're not, right now we're contemplating having a sandblast. But sandblasting something this old, particularly this old tombstone, could do more harm than good. And there's the issue of the cost. There is a Veterans Grave Preservation Commission in Milford, but again, finances are limited. Still, this is a vital link to our past. The cemetery was established back in 1642. This is the grave of Samuel Smith, who reportedly served in the Revolutionary War. This is the grave of Robert Treat, one of three Connecticut governors buried here. He led the colony in the 17th century, dying at the age of 88 in 1710. It's tragic because there's so much history here. Kathleen Loomer grew up not far from here and remembers biking through this area as a child. She's now doing research on the cemetery and says preserving this in the best condition possible is vital to understanding our roots. We're very fortunate to live in New England and so much of the, really the foundations of even the founding fathers uh, happened here and it's, you know, it's a story that needs to be told. Police are still investigating so if you have any information about this, you're asked to give them a call. On the scene in Milford, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.